Navatron was started in 2004, and the reason we started Navatron was we realised that there was a, a big gap in the market in terms of renewables, that the, uh, the savings that you could make by installing renewables back in 2004 was relatively minimal, but at the same time, um, the cost of the equipment required was very high. And so we realised that in order to start the market in the UK, we needed to be able to offer good quality equipment at good prices, uh, and that way hopefully people would then see a real reason for getting involved in renewables. Um, so instead of driving the prices in terms of what we felt we ought to make from a profit point of view, we decided we'd look from a customer's perspective and try and um, price the products in accordance to what the savings would be. Navitron has tried to uh, cover the entire range of renewables, um, so we get involved in all sorts of technologies. Solar water heating is uh, probably the biggest technology for us, but since the introduction of feed-in tariffs back in April last year, um, solar PV has also become a major market for us. Uh, lesser markets include wind turbines, um, hydro turbines, and also heat pumps. So the, they are more specialist technologies because they require uh, specialist situations. You have to have a suitable water course for a water turbine. You have to be in a suitable location with enough wind to get a wind turbine to work effectively. So although we do try and cover the entire range of renewables, the major markets for us are the solar water heating and the solar PV because they appeal to virtually everybody. Everybody has a suitable roof, uh, which is okay for putting uh, that sort of technology on. It's a relatively small footprint on one's roof and even with only a couple of square metres of solar water heating panel, it allows you to generate uh, a good proportion of the water heating requirements that you have in a property. Solar PV has become a good market, but it's mainly because of the feed-in tariff that the government is offering currently. That gives an artificial incentive to get involved in uh, really a very highly priced technology. PV is still very expensive, uh, the returns are very good on PV, but because you're talking about committing yourself to maybe eight or £15,000 worth of equipment, um, even if the payback period is very short, it's currently between seven and nine years, um, it is often beyond the pocket of the general public. The nice thing about solar water heating is because the cost is relatively low compared with PV, and because you are able to generate a relatively high proportion of your um, hot water requirements, it is much more accessible to the majority of people. For people who are off the grid, and it's surprising how many people are off the grid in the UK, for example, um, there are people off the grid right in the middle of Birmingham, which is quite surprising. Um, but for people who are off the grid, um, obviously uh, any, te any requirements which involve heating are a large drain on their resources. If you are generating your power from battery banks which are maybe uh, topped up with generators, if you then start putting heavy loads like water heating on them, it makes a big difference. It's very difficult for them to do. It's an expensive way of using energy. So obviously you take something which is very easy to do, We're using vacuum tube technology, uh, it's very effective. Um, and you can generate your heat on pretty much most of the days of the year. Certainly half the year you can be exclusively running from uh, solar water heating. The other half of the year you will make a good proportion of your heat from your solar water heating panels. Solar thermal technology centres around obviously a solar collector. They're called collectors because they collect the, uh, um, the energy available from sunlight. The traditional um, solar water heating collector would be a flat plate. Flat plates work very well under conditions of high sunshine and high temperatures. However, realistically, we don't enjoy those uh, conditions very often in the UK. So there is a much better technology, which is known as evacuated tube technology. And these are very similar to thermos flasks. So uh, um, once the heat is absorbed there, the heat is very much contained within the flask. And uh, the only way they can, that the heat can come out is via the, uh, the collector itself. So the collector absorbs the sunshine very efficiently, um, typically about 93% efficiently. It only re-emits about 7% of that energy. Um, so you have a very efficient system that will work um, even in overcast conditions, um, even on cloudy days. But the nice thing about heating your hot water with solar is it's very easy to do. And most importantly, there's no sacrifice in lifestyle. And a lot of people, they're quite keen on renewables as long as they don't have to change their, uh, their habits. 
Of course, there is uh, obviously big savings to be had in terms of uh, energy saving and also cost saving by changing habits. So, for example, not uh, running the water excessively when you're washing your hands, but also by turning the thermostat down and all the various things that uh, organisations like the Energy Saving Trust will advise you to do. Navitron has a commitment to reducing CO2 emissions. Uh, we feel that uh, by um, making these type of technologies, solar water heating, solar PV for example, available to the mass market at attractive prices, that we can help the members of the general public reduce their CO2 emissions uh, to a much greater extent. I do believe that the general public, when they understand the issues involved, they are concerned. And I think the majority of people in the UK would do their best to try and accommodate that. So whereas perhaps not everybody has the money to spend on these systems, the government is making life easier by offering these feed-in tariffs and these renewable heat incentives. And these things give the consumer uh, a much greater financial incentive as well as their moral or environmental incentive. So yes, I think uh, people are becoming more aware and I think we are moving in the right direction.